Hello guys, this is Just One Guy and this is my tutorial series, Unity for Noobs. Now in this episode we're going to make a, sif a simple directional script and it's going to give you the direction of the target in relation to the uh, player. Now right here we have this simple script called directional testing and it's going to get the direction of this enemy in relation to this player. Our first variable is enemy and our next variable is the up and down variable. Now if it's negative one it means the uh, target is in back of you. If it's positive one, it means the target is in front of you. And then we have the same for the right and left. If it's negative one, then uh, the target is to the left of you. And if it's positive one, the target is to the right of you. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we have the player variable, which is the player itself. And I've done this just in case you want to change it to uh, get the direction in relation to something else. Next we have the left, right, back, and forward variable. And that's pretty self-obvious. It tells you uh, in which direction the, the target is in relation to the player. <coughs> Sorry there, a little bit of a cold. Now another cool thing about this script is if we're actually facing the target, which is why you're getting that slowdown. Uh, let me go away from it. If you're actually facing the target, it actually uh, prints out this little message, we are facing the target. Now it's getting to slow down because I'm running uh, the screen recording, but if I wasn't doing that, it would act normal. Now this is uh, just something simple I made when I was making my game called Dragon Forge and I needed a lock on system. And this is how I lock on to the uh, uh, target in a certain direction. Like if I want to look left and I want to lock on a specific target, that's left this is how I find the direction and I saw this question on unity forms asked a lot and when I had to go and find the information it was pretty difficult and I've pretty much compiled everything here <coughs> now let's go into the uh, script first we have our target which is I basically explained all this before so I'll go to the update we have our it just uh, checks if it has the self in the target because we don't want it to do anything without that and then this is how it, uh, this is when it finds which direction the target is in and if you're facing that direction it'll basically print this message saying hey we are facing the target next we have the uh, directions and this basically gives you the direction right here if it's negative 0 0.1 blah 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 left right up and down which I just went over and now we have to meet up the script which is the functions this is the one to get the up and down and this is the one to get the left and right now I've tried to combine these but I couldn't do it and I searched for about three days on the internet and I couldn't find anyone else that could do it and I, I think it can be done but I'm not sure but this is the best way I came up with to do it uh, this one right here it basically calculates the enemy direction it uh, it basically creates an angle and then it gets the direction of the enemy and this one right here just gets it for back and forward <coughs> and then it clamps that direction I mean, uh, yeah it clamps it between one and uh, negative one now you can unclamp it if you want to make it a bit more accurate but uh, I find it worked best like this and this one basically does the same thing except left and right and it gives it a few different variables so it can tell the left and the right and it clamps it between negative one and one now in our next tutorial we'll be making this uh, lock on script so you can lock on to the enemy in a certain direction but this is just the basis on how it's built and I hope this helps, helps anyone that's been uh, looking for it and if you like this video please like and subscribe and if you want to suggest a tutorial please suggest a tutorial in the uh, comments down below thank you for watching